Hello, it's Tuesday the 20th. I'm FX Plu and there's a break in the rain, so I popped out for the brief. Um, so as we head towards uh, recession, bleak economic forecasts are popping up all over the show about next year. And to be fair, that's no great surprise. Um, when you consider the backdrop of rising inflation and all the industrial action going on, rising interest rates and economic downturn are pretty much unavoidable at the moment. And lest we forget, there is still a war on in Ukraine. That's not exactly helping the energy crisis or helping to ease the rising prices of foodstuffs, is it? Back home, the government is refusing to yield to uh, any of the pay demands from a number of different unions at the moment. Um, their primary concern is uh, the risk of creating a wage price spiral, which is where inflation-busting pay awards contribute to further inflation, which in turn leads to further pay demands, and so on and so forth. Which came first, inflation or the pay rise? Um, but meanwhile, the markets are heading into holiday mode. Um, sterling drifted around uh, about 121.20 against the dollar yesterday. Uh, we open around there, 121.25 uh, this morning against the dollar, about 114.45 against the euro, and euro dollar is around the 106 mark on the open. Um, and that market sentiment extended stateside too. There's not much expected to move the market ahead of the payrolls data, which is due out on January the 6th. Uh, the debate over the US recession continues. Uh, the current view is that um, there's about a 30% likelihood of a US recession because most of the leading indicators are still holding up pretty well. Um, the employment market is the key consideration there though, um, and while that remains in pretty good health, defying all those predictions of severe job losses in Q1 next year, so it seems the recession risk is that much reduced. Uh, the December employment report is due out on January the 6th and forecasts are for a lower headline number, but one that does still remain well into positive territory. We will, of course, be having a sweepstake to settle that. Um, and meanwhile, the dollar index drifted around yesterday. We touched a high of about 104.40 on the day, but um, those moves lacked any real momentum at all. And long may that continue, I'm sure, until the new, new year. Uh, right, that's it from me. Have a great day. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.